Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video has a ton of cleaning motivation for you guys. I tackled pretty much my entire house and I also was able to do a major master bathroom declutter and organize so make sure you stay tuned for that. I am so happy with how everything turned out. I have been putting that task off for so long now and I decided today would finally be the day I get it done and it feels so good to have such a clean and organized space. I'm going now. I decided to clean from top to bottom today so we are going to be starting off upstairs in the bedrooms. I did already throw my bedding in the washing machine. That was the first thing I did when I woke up this morning but I did forget to film it. The other thing I really wanted to get done is dusting and vacuuming in all of the bedrooms. You probably can't tell on camera but we get really bad dust buildup. Between the carpet and the dogs it is a recipe for major dust collection so that is something I have to do about twice a week. And once we are finished with all of the bedrooms we are going to be moving on into the master bathroom to start on decluttering. I absolutely love interacting with you guys in the comments and getting to know you a little bit better so I thought it would be really fun if you guys let me know down below where you are from and how long you have been watching my channel. But I'm glad you're here. Oh, oh, oh. parent unit to my kids baby monitors has broken for the second time so I've been super frustrated with that. We decided to go with a completely different brand this time. Unfortunately that means these cameras are no longer compatible so I wanted to get them off the wall. Alright, so now we are going to be moving on into the bathroom. Here I am just quickly showing you a before of all of the drawers and cupboards. As you can see, they are a little full and really unorganized. I'm so excited to show you guys the afters once I am finished. It is crazy what a little decluttering and organizing can do for a space. A big reason I have been putting off organizing my bathroom is because I haven't wanted to spend a bunch of money on organizers and drawer dividers. I see so many photos that are Pinterest worthy of different types of organization and I just don't want to spend my money on that currently and I know I'm not the only one that feels that way but I am telling you guys you do not need the organizers and the fancy dividers to make a space look good. 
just decluttering and cleaning up the area made such a difference for me. What are you doing to me? I think I'm going crazy. Oh, I just want you now. I want to hold you close. Don't want to take it slow. Oh, I just want you now. I want to put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you make me feel right. Want to look at you all night. Want to put you in that spotlight. Oh, you know. Till my lungs give out your beauty So here is everything out of the cupboards and drawers. I'm going to sort it into three different piles, one for keeping, one for donating, and one for trash for stuff that's just garbage or expired. I'm also finally getting rid of all of my contact stuff. It feels so weird to part with it, but I did get LASIK eye surgery back in January, so I haven't needed it for a while, but it just feels really weird to get rid of it finally. But yeah, this is what we're working with. I'm going to vacuum out and wipe out all of the drawers and cupboards, and then I will get sorting it and getting it all put away. After I was finished vacuuming out the drawers, I just wanted to go through and wipe everything down with my thieves cleaner and a microfiber cloth just to get anything that the vacuum may have missed. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful I'm sure you guys are already familiar with Megan from the channel Loving Life is Megan, but she has such amazing cleaning videos. She has also recently been doing a ton of decluttering videos on her channel. She shows the befores and afters and it is crazy what decluttering and tidying up a space can do and that was what motivated me to tackle my bathroom today, so I definitely recommend checking out her channel. I've had this cute little five drawer plastic organizer for forever now and I decided to get it cleaned out and this is where I'm going to be storing all of my q-tips and cotton pads. I also decided to store all of my little makeup samples in here as well. That is probably one of my biggest tips for organizing a space is anything with big bulky packages like the q-tip boxes. If you can find little containers to put that stuff in instead, it will save you so much room. After I was finished filling the plastic organizer, I decided to just store that under my sink because I am the one who uses those items the most. 
Next, I am going to be going through everything and deciding what I want to keep and what area I'm going to be storing it in. I would love to know from you guys what is the area of your home that has to be decluttered the most. Besides my bathroom, it would definitely be our front entry closet. That closet is such a mess. We have all of our seasonal stuff still in there. I really have to go through and organize it all and put all of our winter stuff downstairs because with four people, that closet is filling up fast. This drawer is all of my hair tools. It's not super pretty or anything, but it's organized. So that's all that matters. And then this is a lot of my extra stuff that I don't use on a daily basis. So some extra lotions, deodorants, perfumes, and then just a sewing kit and extra makeup brushes and makeup items. Under the sinks look so much better. They're clean and very organized. And I'm really happy with how these are looking. This drawer is completely different. It's almost empty now. So I wanna get a couple organizers just to make sure everything stays in place because I find when I'm opening and closing the drawers, things are falling over now. So I'm gonna get a couple acrylic organizers for that. And then this drawer is just all our extras. So extra toothbrushes, shavers, loofahs, and toothpaste. This drawer is just Justin's shaving stuff not that exciting and this one is all of my extra bath and body works products so extra soaps body washes lotions all of that and i am almost out of soaps which has never happened before but the bath and body works in my city is still closed so hopefully i can make it through now that everything is put away i'm just going to quickly wipe down all of the cupboards with my thieves spray before we head downstairs to start in the dining room and kitchen If you did miss my last video, this space probably looks a lot different. I will link it in the cards here if you are interested in checking it out, but we did share our progress so far on our new dining room. We are transforming it to a more modern farmhouse style. As you can see, it is still a little bit plain. I haven't been able to decorate it yet because all of the home stores in my city have been closed, but I have a ton of ideas and I can't wait to see them come together. I did not really like my dining room before, so it is such a nice and refreshing feeling being so happy with this space now. Like I said, I am not done with it yet. I still have a lot of decorating to do, but I would love to hear from you guys what you think would look good in this space. 
It's definitely needing some pops of color. I am planning on getting some plants and greenery and maybe some lemons for summer. I do get most of my ideas off of Pinterest like I'm sure most of us do, but I would love to hear from you guys. Her bite is bittersweet cause I'm stuck between her lines. She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined. I would love to know from you guys and where you are currently living, what is it like where you are with all of the COVID restrictions starting to lift. Here in Alberta, Canada, we are currently in phase one of our openings. They have started opening hair salons, certain restaurants, a lot of retail stores have started to open and it's really exciting because I'm so ready to get back to normal life, but I am also really nervous with the openings starting to happen. Let me know down in the comments what is it looking like where you currently are. Once I was finished cleaning up the kitchen, I quickly just wanted to meal plan for the week ahead. I do this every single Sunday and it saves us so much time and energy throughout the week. We never have to think about what we are eating and it saves us a lot of money on our grocery bill as well.
As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below answering any of today's questions or just a heart emoji letting me know that you made it all the way till the end. I have also had a couple of you guys letting me know that you are not seeing my videos on your subscription page. So please don't forget to turn your notification bell on just so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.